This is King Erna coming to you guys live and direct. God damn it, baby, the truth hurts. Let me let me give you some understanding. You know why the truth usually hurts? Because the truth comes back to bite you dead in your rear end. To the point you don't have an understanding of how it came. See, a lot of us wake up in the morning time and we, we tend to get our day started and the good things that are going in our, on in our life, we tend to kind of adhere to it. We're just a happy-go-lucky and just a moving about. But let me give you some understanding, people. And I'm going to tell you how the truth really hurts. Somehow, some way, along that line of a good day, there's one negative thing that's going to pop up. One negative thing that you may have done. And it may come through your conscious or it may come to you live and direct. Right to your screen where you can see it. The same screen that you counsel people on. The same screen that you give all the advice on can turn into that screen if someone asks and you, a, you know, that's a queer question. Why your own brother, man? Why your own brother? I don't care how much negative things that we do in our time, in our life. Family members are to be loved. I don't care how much you may dislike them. And some of you kittens have a jealousy towards your family members. I am truth hurts. Let me ask you a question. Did you, you know, did you, were you jealous of little bro? Did little bro, did Jay have that honor that everybody looked past you? And said, he has the honor. He's the one that's sturdy. Because for you to lock your own brother up, knowing your little brother, knowing that you're involved in crime, it disgusts me. Disgusts me. To the point I ask myself about a guy like you. Who are you? What are you doing? You're here to make a mockery of yourself. You're here to make a mockery of your family. I mean, at the end of the day, how loud you were. Knowing that there's a King Erna, a man who cares about individuals who have families that are out here on these streets that are suffering because of a dishonorable kids on a dishonorable Rizat like you. Now let me give you some understanding. Because some pe see people, they, they see people like myself who are, you know, on the screen as cow chasers. I don't receive any reward for this. I don't receive any type of glorification that gives me that feeling that I want to keep on. So this isn't for the clout. But when I go to bed at night, I sleep well. When I go to pray, I sleep. And I go to an understanding that this prayer that I'm going to go into when I wake up in the morning is of good things because I have asked the Lord to forgive me for my sins. I was able to face my sins and my wrongs right here on the same camera that I give honor on. Yeah, 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 we all have our wrongs, but we make sure that our principles intact. We make sure that our wrongs does not consist of what? Being a preserve, a riz or a riz -ap. And other discountable people you already know, we don't have to get into that. We don't need me shut down, right? The ones that he went ahead and said, go ahead and tap into y'all being if y'all are these type of individuals that like the same kind of people, you know, man on man, women on women, whatever. And it gives me dishonorable vibes about this guy. It gives me dishonorable vibes because a lot of you sisters, y'all not going to admit it. But he conned you. He had y'all thinking that he was just regular old small mode Joe. They may have had a negative past, but he wasn't a betrayer. He wasn't an individual that can kind you out of your honor because that's what he done. He kind individuals out of their honor to be involved in street activity and then turned around and pointed the finger at them. Free Ot, Free J, his own brother. This is what he done. And sometime or another, ladies at home, y'all not getting what y'all want. You know, I understand that y'all not getting the love that you want from your man, but I'm telling you, solid men today, 
I know we are tough and rough around the edges. Give your woman a hug. Whisper in her ear and tell her how much you love her. And when you can, go down and grab that honorable nizzle, suck on it, play with that closet, get your mouth all in there. And make sure you give them an understanding that you love them. Make love to them like you never made love to them. Because there's a dishonorable kitten. There's a Rizak that you're allowing to get close to her. And you don't know it yet. And neither does she. She don't understand the reasoning behind us saying stay from around these kind of individuals that have been involved in street crime and then turn around and point the fingers. Well, guess what? No one knows how anyone feel about these individuals. No one knows. So to keep your family safe, to keep your loved ones of honor and care, you keep these type of people that were in the streets that turned around and pointed the finger at their friends that they created crime what? Crime for? You keep them away from your family and your friends. You have to. You must. Because if you don't, you never know when the DEA is running in your home. You never know when the FBI is kicking your door down. You never know when the locals just want to got, grab this guy and just say, give me more. And you're harassed and your family is growing up with that trauma. Or even someone negative saying, hey, I don't like the dishonor in this guy. And just going at you and your family on a negative vibe. Well, King Gurner is here to save the day on that also. Because King Gurner don't teach violence to any of these type of Rizaks. I teach the youth and I teach grown men stay away from their kind, their principles, their honor is not intact. They'll do anything, even lie on you in order to stay free from the nonsense and the violence that they create every day. And guess what? I don't respect it. I don't honor it. But so many of you guys do. So many of you guys love it and you can't get an understanding that you only give the civilian the understanding that in a tight position, if they had to call law enforcement, that's what they do. But an individual who had enough balls to involve himself in crime, fitting all, involve himself in this negativity, and then say, it was my little brother and my other chum, and just instead of saying, hey, we go to trial, we lose, we go to jail, we get all the benefits of understanding the wrong that we've done, come home, and don't involve what we used to involve ourselves in. We rebuild what we once destroyed. Positivity. Because now we're selling honor when you go and you say you want to coach lives. Now you're selling the best of it, the purest of honor, the respect, the love, what the youth need, what the whole family need. Now people can accept that. They can't accept a person who is disloyal to their own blood brother and locked them up and said, if I could swallow the key, I would. That doesn't cause for a person to be on this, what we have here. This is what we call now a place of honor. And I have created that place based off of guys like myself that was involved in negativity and coming forth with, with ever, anything nope, anybody negative said and said, I, I said the cat, I done that wrong before, but I'm not a rat. I'm not a perv. I'm not a rapist, but I've done that wrong before, but I'm not a Rizad. I'm not a perv and I've done wrong, but I'm just not a Rizad. I'm here to let the people have understanding that this sin is something that I can live for. But being a Rizak, it dishonor our principles as men. And when you go ahead and cook your own brother, you have an understanding to take the back so you don't come home from the can trying to act like you're the coolest LL Cool J licking lip kitten. Come on here. You don't do that. You go ahead and take the back seat. You take your little job and you take your little back robes and you go ahead and you... Stay in positivity and what you would call positive because it's never honored amongst us. But we will not be issuing any type of violence on anybody. We want for the youngest to have an example. We want for the ladies to have an example. Stay away from these rizacks. Y'all laying in bed with these rats. And what's going to end up happening is you involve yourselves in the streets. 
We need you to be taking a positive note and wanting good men and honorable men around your children and around yourself. I'm King Gurner from the Honor Your Life campaign. The goal is to restore honor and never keep kittens around. That's the goal. We need a safe environment with all men of honor, all women of honor who are willing to bring to the forefront their wrongs in life and accept it if someone bring it to them, not blocking, running, say I didn't do, ah, say I'm coming up to the circle of honor to fight for my honor. But most, most men will never come up to the circle of honor to fight and speak for their honor because you know why? They don't stand on no type of principle and they are what everybody say they are. And it's what the black and white represents, what they have signed and what they have automatically brought our community down. And guess what? We not buying it. King Gurner live and direct. Stay away from these kind and make sure you restore the honor amongst the people. And ladies, if y'all gonna find our honor, make sure y'all follow it in the most purest form. King Gurner live and direct.